So we're just about ready. Set. Ah! Racing. Speeding Comet got a flying start out wide. More racers gathering good speed. Shackleton's going to be handy and Hoboken is going up outside of them now to be running second. Shackleton's back third. And then Dam Ready who posses up nicely. King's Authority just ridden up to uh, find a spot in the centre. And Speeding Comet is out a little bit wider now. Followed by Capanda who's seventh one off the fence. And then came Captivated Point getting well back Q Anzo. Back second last is My Demi. And Bon Voyage is last. More races in front of Hoboken. Speeding Comet three wide. Shackleton on the inside of King's Authority. Capanda is making some ground out wider. Dam ready the inside, then captivated point. My Demi Cuanzo and Bon Voyage. Hoboken has raced up to more races. Now Shackleton is coming around their heels now. Speeding Comet is right there on the outside. Here's Shackleton coming hard after Hoboken. Now Speeding Comet and uh, down the outside is Dam ready finishing lane. Shackleton's got the lead. Dam ready can't get there. Shackleton but Dam ready. Speeding Comet fourth photo. Cuanzo joining more races. And Campanda was out wider, and now followed by My Demi King's Authority, Captivated Point, Bon Voyage, and Hoboken. Shackleton, number 10, is the winner at 2.40 and 1.30. Has uh, just held on from Dam Ready, Speeding Comet, Photo Fourth, more races or Cuanza. Might be more races and nose, but there's not much in it. And close up, Speeding Comet, he drifted, uh, sorry, close up on the outside. We'll wait on that to uh, freeze frame again. But Shackleton, 2.40 and 130, given a beautiful run, came around heels. And the luck that it didn't get here over the carnival when it uh, flashed and just missed uh, against Disruptive. It's got the money today, though, Shackleton. And done the job well in a top performance by the, again, Jimmy trained runner Shackleton. Damn ready, it's been a good run again. She's racing well. Big weight. Those Australia Day colours again playing a part in the finish. And a speeding Comet has uh, battled on very well. Kiwanzo has nailed fourth on the line from more races by nose and Capanda back in sixth place was uh, very close up on the outside. 58-14 the time. We'll uh, head down to Brittany and uh, She's down there now with uh, Shackleton's rider. Thanks, Richie. Sean O'Donnell jumps aboard this horse for the first time. Sean, your first impressions? Yeah, good effort he won, so I'm really happy and I like him, so that was a good effort. You tend to like them when they're able to find the post first. Uh, you found the box seat. Were you just sweating on that run in the straight? Yeah, I, I didn't have to sweat too much. When we cornered, the uh, horse three deep, it dropped off, so the run came straight away, but... I kind of had to time it right because he's only got a short sprint and look, I timed it right and he'd done the rest. Well, it worked out perfectly for him. Congratulations on the win. Yeah, thank you. Awesome for the team and uh, myself. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, well under Sean O'Donnell, Chris Cairn, Jemmy Shackleton. He gets a win. He deserved that win. Um, he had been frustrating, I would imagine, at times this galloper, but today was his day. He was given a beautiful ride and he found the line nicely. Yeah, it wasn't his fault a couple of times earlier in the prep. He was pretty unlucky uh, not to have won one or two already this prep, but um, uh, looked his race today from a good barrier. Got a beautiful ride from Donga and um, uh, he, uh, he only fell in, but he got the job done, so it's good. He's been a good horse for connections. Yeah, Michael paid bugger all for him. Uh, his form was pretty ordinary before we got him, and uh, so he's won uh, yeah, a lot more than what he paid for him. And, um, he deserved that today. He's probably had enough. Um, so he might even go to the paddock today, after today, but um, no, it's good to get a win on the board. And he seems to enjoy racing here at Ascot as well. Yeah, he's only got like a short, sharp kick. So if he can draw a barrier, get a soft run, and uh, he's got a good furlong on him. So mm. Job well done. Thanks, buddy. There's Chris Can, Jemmy, another winner for that stable. Boy, they've had a wonderful 12 months especially. Damn ready second. He's, he's low flying, this fellow, with 61 on his back. He'll be winning again shortly. Third home was speeding Comet. That was an effort and a half. And Kiwanzo was back and forth. Moraces was good first up, and Campanda was doing its best work late. 58 1 for the time, long head by one and a quarter lengths after race number five today from Ascot, which kicked off the quaddy.